Hi friends, we're teaming up with the Child Care Action Council to bring you some building through play activities to do at home, learn a little something and have fun. My name is Sam and I'm with the South Sound Green program and behind the camera is Mary from Capital Land Trust. Today we are going to teach you how to find shapes in nature. We are at the Randall Preserve, which is a Capital Land Trust free public access preserve and a great place to find shapes in nature. But don't worry if you can't come to this exact spot. There are a lot of shapes in nature that you can find anywhere where you have a lot of trees or rocks or bugs. Here's what you'll need. We have a shapes in nature card for you to look at while you're finding these shapes in nature. You'll also need a marker or a pen and of course your eyes because you're going to be looking for these shapes in nature yourself. So let's see if we can find any of these shapes in nature right now. There's a really good example of a circle in nature right here with this flower. And you'll notice that even the petals have their own shape, kind of uh, an oval shape compared to the circle right in the middle of the flower. You'll notice that this is not the exact example of a circle in nature that we have in our sheet, but that's okay. All that matters is that you're finding representations of shapes in nature and that you are recording them with a marker or a pen. And if you find other shapes that aren't on this sheet, great. Just make sure you add them to the list. Sometimes we need tools to help us find certain shapes in nature. For example, if we have something really small that we would want to find shapes on, we might need a magnifying glass. This one's pretty small too, but we can still use it to get really good close-ups of some of the great shapes on this, like uh, straight lines and a couple of small rectangles too. Or if we want to try to find shapes that are far away, we can use binoculars. The tops of the trees look like triangles. As you're looking for shapes in nature, make sure you're only going to places that you're allowed to go to. And while you're there, make sure you're not disturbing any of the nature around. We want to make sure that the animals, plants, and humans that use this space in the future are going to find it just as alive and healthy as you do. And if you find any really cool shapes in nature, you can share them with us on social media. You can tag South Sound Green and Capital Land Trust on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find really cool shapes in nature.